Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan and I help freelancers, agencies, and consultants land clients. A large part of my program, Revenue Spark, focuses on how to professionally and confidently communicate with leads online. Uh, sometimes this communication is happening on LinkedIn, but other times it's happening over email. And actually a ton of my content on this channel is all about cold emailing specifically. That was how I landed my first few clients as a freelancer, and I still use it to this day. One thing that I like to help my students with is designing an email signature that stands out. Now your email signature is one of those smaller details that still makes a difference, okay? Because it has the potential to make your email look either very polished and uh, sleek, or it can make your email look spammy and kind of thrown together. It goes right up there with addressing your lead by their first name and not dear sir or madam, as well as keeping your email concise and to the point. These details really, really matter. Like I said a moment ago, I've got a ton of content on cold emailing, so if you need more help with that, I'm going to drop the link to that playlist in the description below. Now, normally what I do is I provide my students with a template, an email signature template, where they can just plug in their own details and copy paste it into their email. But recently I stumbled upon a tool called Wisestamp that does all of this for you and then like a thousand times more. Wisestamp gives you pre-designed email signature templates that are really easy to customize with your own branding while keeping them very clean and sleek and professional looking. I'm gonna show you a quick demo in a minute, but before we get going, uh, when I was playing around with Wise Stamp for the first time, there was one thing in particular I was looking for. I look for this with any tool that I use. I've told you before that I'm not the most tech savvy person, so when it comes to any uh, tool or software that I'm considering using, it is vital that it is very user friendly. Wise Stamp is great because in order to use it, you do not need any design or coding experience, and it's really uh, easy to integrate with your Gmail account in just a couple of clicks. So it's efficient while still giving you a ton of creative freedom, which is exactly what my students and I need, especially me. I don't have time to learn techie stuff. All right, I'm gonna show you my screen and let's design one together. All right, let's take this for a spin. Now, full disclosure, there are several ways you could go about this. I'm just going to show you how I did it, but play around with it because you might find a process that works a little better for you. Now, once you create your account and sign in, what I suggest trying is hover over this left side menu here, click on company details. And especially if you're like a freelancer or a consultant, you are the company. So you can start plugging in your company details, which are going to reflect you. Uh, so I put here my website uh, URL, my location, and then I plugged in my more relevant uh, social media links, okay? And you're gonna see why this helps in just a minute. So click on apply changes, and then we are going to create a signature. So just click on new signature, and if you wanna give it a name, you can create, and here we are in the draft. Um, now the first thing I wanna show you is the template. Now. There are a bunch of options here, and you might find that some better fit your profession, your industry than others. Like if you wanted something a little more traditional and corporate, you could go with corporate. Uh, if you wanted something a little more funky, you could opt for that. So I'm just gonna do classic for now. And you'll see here, it already started plugging in my information. Now, if we go to details, you will see why. Um, it is automatically pulling what I filled out in that last step, okay? You can still change it, or you could go about this, you know, you could reorder the steps if you wanted, but I just found this to be easier for me. Design is where you can start playing around with the fonts, the sizes, the colors, the spacing, everything. Uh, for example, maybe I don't like Arial, maybe I wanna switch it to Palatino. And font size, if you start playing with this slider, it's going to change the size of everything. So watch what happens when I shrink it. Okay, or I can make it a little bigger. Line spacing is the, the empty space right here. Um, personally, I like when things are a little more compact. 
And then space from content uh, reflects how far below the email it will appear. Like if we made this way bigger, it bumps it down, which I personally don't like. Okay, so that's just to give you a taste. Obviously, there's a lot more you can mess around with, more than I can show you in you know one video. But this is where you would start to tweak the details of your signature to better match your own branding. Okay, you can even add an image. Uh, personally, I like putting a headshot in my email signature, so this is probably where I would put my picture. Next thing I want to show you is social. This is really cool. Um, now, why it's such a good idea to include social links in your signature because it's going to help drive a little bit of traffic to those channels. And, um, you know, when people are communicating with you, it just makes it easier for them to become part of your audience. Now, what we would need to do here is let's go to YouTube and I would just click on this little carrot value taken from company. And there it is. And we could keep doing that with whatever channels we wanted. So I would also like to add my LinkedIn because I'm very active there. Let's do Instagram. There we go. Save draft. Pretty cool, huh? Something else you definitely don't want to miss is apps. Uh, lots of cool stuff to play around with here. The two things that really caught my eye um, where did it go? Social buttons. So what actually, hold on. So if you hover over it, you can get kind of like a little preview of what it looks like. Um, what I really liked about this option, um, I might even like it a little more than the icons that I already added. Um, they act as kind of a call to action. So, you know, having like a YouTube icon, it's a little more minimal and a little like sleeker, but watch on YouTube is like a very direct in your face call to action. And so if you're really trying to grow your channels, you might decide that you like these buttons better. Um, but you've got so many options here. Uh, if you have a newsletter you want people to sign up for, if you are a green company, you can add something about that. Disclaimer, maybe if you work in you know a company where uh, privacy and security is even more important than it is for all of us, you could add that. Uh, some people like to add a quote. I personally do not, so I would not choose that. You can even put a video in your email signature, like holy cow, I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, so I actually have a client that has Sorry if you can hear my dog snoring. Uh, I have a client who has a styled sign off and I was always wondering how they did it. And so when I signed up for a Y stamp and I saw that, I was like, bingo. So to start playing around with this, you just click styled sign off. And first you need to pick what exactly you want to appear as handwriting, um, either the name or the sign off. So like kind regards or whatever you wanna choose or you could customize it even more. Um, so I would do the name and then you can customize the sign off with best, best wishes. I normally say best and then sign as employee name. Now, if you wanna leave it handwritten, you can and it's just gonna look like, a, like an actual signature and not printed or you could leave it plain, just typed out or you can animate it. So there, I added that and now when people see my signature, it's gonna be like I'm actually handwriting it to them. Um, I know this might not be for everyone. I just think it's kind of cool and adds a little, you know, personality to your signature. So I'm actually going to pause there. I'm going to save the draft. Now, in terms of getting the signature into your Gmail account, uh, there are two ways you can go about it. And Y stamp tells you exactly how to do both. I will put those directions in the description below. You can either use their API or you can use their Google Chrome extension. I opted for the extension. So when you do that and you go and open a new email, um, it's going to tell you, do you want to use the signature? And you just say yes. And you can even have different signatures and Y stamp will just allow you to kind of scroll between them if you want to use one specific one. So, um, you know, what I love about this is you can create very dynamic, very, uh, like I almost want to call them like multi-dimensional uh, signatures as opposed to something, you know, maybe a little more flat and plain. So if you wanted to spice up your email signature, this is a great way to do it. Uh, very user friendly and it's a lot of fun to play with and you can customize it as much or as little as you want. Um, you know, honestly, you could start and end with a template. 
and you could call it a day. Um, you know, on the flip side, if you wanted to completely change it up, change the fonts, the colors, add all kinds of apps, you could. So uh, you have as much freedom as you want to do as much or as little as you want. No coding, no design experience uh, necessary. If you watched any of my content, you know that there are two things that I'm very big on. Number one, keep it simple. It doesn't need to be complicated to work. In fact, if it's complicated, I don't want it. And number two, the devil is in the details, where I see a lot of freelancers and agencies and consultants, any client-based business, where a lot of people go wrong is they're in such a hurry to land clients and make money and grow their businesses that they start to gloss over these details. One of those details is your email signature. So again, why stamp is a great solution for this because it kind of gives you the best of both worlds. It's very simple and easy to use and quick to pick up, but it still gives you all of the creative freedom that you want to build an email signature that reflects you as a professional. When you're designing your email signature, there are a few uh, general guidelines that you might consider following. Number one, if you want to incorporate social media icons, I would choose them wisely. Uh, for example, I have a Pinterest account, but it's not something that I'm very aggressively using to grow my business, whereas LinkedIn and YouTube, on, on the other hand, are. So those are the icons that I would opt to include. Number two, include links modestly. You do not want to spam your own email signature with a ton of links. Not only is it uh, not the best experience for the recipient, but having too many links in your email can trigger the spam filter. And number three, if you plan to include a phone number in your email signature, I would strongly suggest you get something like a free Google Voice number if you're in the US. If you're outside of the US, there are alternatives that are free. Um, I know it might not seem like a big deal to give out your own personal number in the beginning when you might not have that many clients, but just trust me, down the line, you will regret it. Don't give out your personal number. My friends at Ystamp are very generously offering 35% off their pro plan for a full year to the first 1,000 people who sign up using the discount code that I've put in the description below. The offer expires on December 31st, so go grab that code right now, sign up for Ystamp, and start to play around with it. Come up with an email signature that reflects your branding and your values as a professional. Like I said earlier, email communication is just one thing I teach in my program, Revenue Spark, the Client Accelerator. Really, you get my start to finish process for going out and landing your dream clients. This is the exact process that I've used to scale my agency to almost $20,000 a month consistently in revenue. Whether you are brand new to the game or a little more advanced, whether you want to make $2,000 a month or $10,000 a month, I might be able to help. So I've also dropped that link below where you can go learn more about the curriculum. You can view a few testimonials. And if you're interested in speaking more, you can book a call to chat with me. If you're still watching, it's because you found this video helpful and I would be very grateful if you could support my channel by giving it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, just drop them in a comment and I'll see you next time.